unity of action is vital for North Atlantic Treaty Organization, which was formed in 1949 by 12 countries, including the US, UK, Canada, and France. The main purpose of the Defensive Military Alliance was to help one another if they come under armed attack. So, under what circumstances should NATO threaten the use of force? And what are the options before it? Well, they range from invoking Article 4 of the NATO Treaty to Article 5. Let's understand this. Article 4 says that members will consult together whenever the territorial integrity, political independence or security of another member is threatened. Once Article 4 is invoked and the issue is discussed among allies, it can potentially lead to a joint decision or action on behalf of NATO. This step has happened a number of times in the Alliance's 73-year history. The last time Article 4 was invoked was in February after Russia invaded Ukraine. Now let's move on to Article 5 which states that NATO members agree that an armed attack against one or more of them shall be considered an attack against them all. Once invoked, all members assist the ally attacked. This last resort tool was used after the 9-11 terrorist attacks against the United States.